ExpressVPN and NordVPN, two of the top VPNs for the last few years, but in 2024, which VPN is actually better? Well, in this video, I'll be testing and comparing both NordVPN and ExpressVPN, looking at the speeds, performance, privacy, security, and so much more, and we'll even test them on popular platforms like Netflix. Now, before we get started with this video, if you want to save a huge amount on your next VPN subscription, check out the links in the description where you can save over 85% off of some VPNs and get several months for free. So let's get started into the video. Starting off, we're going to be looking at a speed test of both NordVPN and Express. And I've got NordVPN testing right now. And as you can see, my ping has gone from two to three, which is really good. That's a really minor ping increase, which means this VPN is great for gaming. And now my download speed has come in and I've got about a six to 7% speed drop, it looks like. And now I'm testing the upload speed. Now I'm looking at a big upload speed decrease here on NordVPN, it looks about 30 to 40%, which is much higher than we would normally expect. We usually want about a 10 to 15% speed drop on both our upload and download with a good VPN. The results are showing that I've got a 7.6% speed drop on my download, which is good, and a 42% speed drop on my upload, which is very high. And usually we'd expect something much lower from a VPN like NordVPN. So there could be some issues with the servers on my test but let's test out expressvpn and see how they compare so on the screen we've got expressvpn exact same test on the left you have my home connection and on the right i've got expressvpn connected so my ping has gone from two to four which is a slight increase compared to nordvpn and now i'm testing the download and upload and i've got about a five percent speed drop on my download which is great that's what we'd expect from a good vpn and now I'm testing the upload and again, it's looking about a six to 7% speed drop um, on my upload speed, which is fantastic as well. But let's see the final results that we get. So final results are in and we get a 5.51% speed drop on our download, which is amazing. And a 4.23% speed drop on our upload. Again, that's amazing. So I would say that ExpressVPN is the quicker VPN out of the two and NordVPN definitely ran into some issues with the upload speeds. Not sure what happened there, but I did run a test multiple times and it kept getting the same issue. So now let's continue and look at the user interface and features. So when it comes to UI, I'm gonna start with ExpressVPN and look at the features as well. So the overall user interface is very simple and easy to use. I don't like how there's no locations tab on the main screen. You actually have to click these three dots and then from here you have to go to all locations and then click these drop downs to open up each country you can choose from. I do like it where it's just a long list that I can choose from on the main screen. If I want to go to options, you click this and then go to options here. And then if we're on the general tab, we have a kill switch or as it's labeled here, a network lock. That just means that if your home connection were to ever drop and then reconnect, it would wait to be behind the VPN first before connecting to the outside world. Great feature for privacy and stops any IP leaks from happening. Next, we have split tunneling, which basically allows you to segregate different applications to be behind the VPN or to run normally. Let's say I have Firefox and Chrome and I want Firefox to run behind the VPN, but Chrome to run normally. You can do that with split tunneling. And then on the advanced protection tab, you just have some extra features such as a threat manager, which just blocks trackers and malicious sites. You have an ad blocker, which is built into ExpressVPN and then parental controls. On the protocol tab, you can adjust the protocol between Lightweight and OpenVPN. Lightweight is actually engineered and created by ExpressVPN themselves and is based on WireGuard. So if you want a quicker connection, go with Lightweight. If you want a safer and slower connection, then go with OpenVPN. And then on the browsers tab, you have browser extensions, which you can install. So if you want to just run the VPN from Chrome, you can do that and the same with Firefox. Now looking at NordVPN, the user interface is much nicer to use. So you have this gigantic map, which shows you all of the locations that you can choose from. So if I wanted to connect to somewhere, let's say in Chile, I can just click this and connect to that server. When I go to the options, you have some options here on the main screen. 
So if you want a dedicated IP address, a feature which ExpressVPN does not have, then you can get one here. If you want to use a double VPN, which basically routes you through multiple servers. So first it might connect you to, uh, let's say Spain and then to Italy to further improve your privacy. You can do that here. They then have obfuscated servers, which just disguises the traffic to look like normal HTTPS traffic. You then have Onion over VPN, which allows you to connect to Tor through the VPN. And then you have peer-to-peer -peer servers, which are made for torrenting. Any locations you want can be found here and you can browse through the list easily. If you want to go to privacy settings, you can do that through the bottom left and open up the kill switch, which allows you to have just a standard kill switch and then an app based kill switch. Uh, this is the same as ExpressVPN, so it helps your privacy. Split tunneling again, same as ExpressVPN, you can enable it here and add any apps you want to that service. So in terms of user interface and features, which VPN is better? Well, NordVPN does have the nicer user interface in my opinion, and it offers more features than ExpressVPN. I do have to say that ExpressVPN offers you the core VPN features and offers great stability and speeds. That's their main use case. Whereas NordVPN has some extra features, but this could actually compromise your privacy and security. So next up, I want to look at privacy and security of both VPNs. And let's start off with the jurisdiction. So ExpressVPN is based out of the British Virgin Islands and NordVPN is based out of Panama. These are two great jurisdictions to be based out of as both don't have data retention laws, which means they're not legally required to store any data on their users. And both countries are not part of the 14 Eyes Alliance. When it comes to security, again, both VPNs use similar infrastructure. They both use AES 256-bit encryption, which is the industry standard across most governments and militaries around the world. And alongside that, they have RAM-only servers. That means every time the server is rebooted, all data is wiped. No information is being stored on any hard drives. When it comes to the no logs policy, both VPNs have great no logs policies that do not log any of your connection timestamps, browsing history, or anything else that you use the VPN for. Now, for those of you that might think that the VPN companies are lying to you, well, both ExpressVPN and NordVPN have been audited by independent third parties. And the reports are available to read online. So NordVPN has been audited by Deloitte, which is a huge global firm. And then ExpressVPN has been audited by both Cure53, which have handled their hardware and lightweight protocol. And then for their no logs policy, they've been audited by KPMG. You can read all of these reports online and usually they come out with new reports every couple of years to show that they're still adhering to their privacy policy that they state. So which VPN is actually better when it comes to privacy and security? And it's honestly hard to separate both Nord and ExpressVPN. They're both based out of great jurisdictions and they use similar infrastructure and both VPNs have been audited. So I would say it's a tie when it comes to privacy and security as both VPNs just perform excellent in this sector. When it comes to streaming services, both VPNs performed exceptionally well and were able to bypass any blocks that platforms such as Netflix might have for VPNs. They allowed me to access a global library of content. And if you want to watch me test each VPN on Netflix, then check out my individual reviews that I have on both ExpressVPN and NordVPN, and you can see how they performed. But when it comes to which VPN was better at accessing these streaming platforms, well, both VPNs don't actually have any dedicated servers for any platforms. So there isn't any streaming services, uh, streaming servers that I can connect to and that have a 100% success rate. Although both VPNs have a very high success rates of 90% plus on accessing these platforms. So I wouldn't be able to separate them. And again, for this section, I would have to say it's a tie. Now, the last thing I want to take a look at is pricing and which VPN offers you the best value for money. Now, both of these VPNs offer huge discounts and you can get those by using the links in the description. And you also get several months free on ExpressVPN as if you use that link, it will give you three months free and 49% off of the price. Now, ExpressVPN still ends up being the more expensive VPN. It's definitely a premium option, but you are paying for the superior performance and privacy that is offered through the VPN. 
NordVPN is slightly cheaper if you get their standard plan and you'll get 58% off with the link in the description. But if you go up to their ultimate plan, you'll actually get 67% off and lots of benefits as well. Now, both VPNs come with a 30 day money back guarantee. That means you could try out the VPN and see if you like it. And if you're not happy with it, or even if you are happy, you can return it by contacting their customer service and they'll give you a full refund. So which VPN offers you better value for money? Well, they are competitively priced. I think for the performance ExpressVPN gives you, it is the best priced VPN. And if you use the deal in the description, you get three months free as well. So it doesn't work out to be much more expensive than NordVPN. If you need those extra features and you don't mind sometimes getting slower speeds, then NordVPN again is a great option, but it will cost you significantly more than some budget VPNs such as PIA, Surfshark and CyberGhost. So which VPN is better in 2024? And I'm going to give it to ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN has been my top VPN for the last few years. You just can't rival it when it comes to performance and stability. It always offers me the quickest speeds and allows me to use it for gaming and without running into any issues that I might run into with other VPNs. Now NordVPN does offer some extra features that you won't find on ExpressVPN, such as a double VPN feature and peer-to-peer -peer servers. So if you want those dedicated features, then you can look at NordVPN as well. But if you want the overall best VPN than ExpressVPN would take it. So that sums up my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out other VPN reviews, comparisons and buying guides, then check out the rest of my channel.